Okay, wheels rebuilt, brake rotors on it. We're ready to stuff it back in the hole. It should go right back in because we didn't do anything to break. And nobody hit the master cylinder up there, so it should be good. So hopefully it all slides together nice and easy. I know that'd be something different on this bike, but oh well. Every now and then you catch a break. So that little small spacer right there has to go between the speedometer drive and the fork to get everything lined up correctly. So we got to make sure that's in there correctly. Other than that, everything should bolt together relatively easily, hopefully. We'll see how the uh, brake rotor issue goes here inside the caliper. It might fight me a little bit. We'll see. All right. that to start in there be nice and easy. There we go. Let the bike help you where you can, makes things a lot easier. So front is held straight. It's in the brake pads. So all you do is lift it up now a little bit to shove the axle. I gotta go about an inch in the air. Normally I move the bike up and down and lift, but in this case we're using a little bit different design here. Is what it is. Okay, this spacer came out of over here, so I can put it back in. And of course, I got to pull this back out to put it back in. So I have to redo what I just did. Yep. Ah, that stupid ass chrome. Comes off inside your pan. And hold the front end square by rubbing my hand on that chrome fork leg. It's sketchy as well as it does. There we go. So we can't get the axle to go in here. to fit together easily so everything has to be out and slip it all at once great nothing like making it easy on me Shim stock here in front of the front tire. Let's see what it's going to take to do this job. There we go. Not quite the right height, but it's pretty close. Now this one here. Pull it out. Stick the drive unit in. Slide all three components in. Spacer, spacer, and pads. We gotta shove the axle back in. Yeah. 
Oh, I forgot the spacer. You don't ask, put the spacer in there. Don't forget the spacer. One in there. Okay, now we put the screw in there. things up a little bit. Okay, the axle just started spinning. So I got another Allen socket over here on the breaker bar to hold it. I don't want to pinch this right now because if you do it's going to pull the fork in and bind the seals up in here. So you don't want to do that. <coughs> you want to hold it. Put some torque on it. <clears throat> and this cable is being held by that, so it lets it free sit in there. So now what I do is I tap on this a little bit to let it self-center. Right now we're yanking on it pretty hard up here, so I'm going to release this, put this straight up and down, then I'll tighten this. And that'll let this fork leg center where it wants to be, and then you tighten it down. That way you don't bind up your seals and everything. Okay, right now the brake helps get a little drag on it because of the pads and everything. we got to see if they can change any. Pretty heavy. Get a flashlight once. Okay, I think the brake rotor is way too far over. And it's dragging. If you look down in here, how close it is in there. It's really, really close against the caliper. And this side over here, you got a big gap. I don't know if you can see that. So it's rubbing pretty hard. And you can see how the brake pad is all the way up against the caliper there. It's not going to compress any further. So are there any washers on this thing? Oh yeah, there's a big stack of washers here, see? So I can pull this off, take out some washers, and center it up. 
giving it working a lot better. Also compressed the pads so they I'll have room to work on it. All right, so I have an upper view now. There we go. Okay, we got to figure out how many parts are in there. Where'd my Loctite go? Okay, Loctite. Jam a board right there. We won't have to fight it so much. tension on it. Two big thick washers. I think we're going to pull out one of those. Okay. You can see how all these pads, that piston's all the way or way out, these ones aren't. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze these back in. Of course these don't want to move. It's just like the rear brake, you need to take it all apart and clean it all out so it works better, but. Front one moved, the back one doesn't here. <clears throat> oh, I twist my wrist. <clears throat> oh, those, are... <clears throat> those are definitely tight. Okay. Two different washers in here. Oh yeah, we got stacks of washers, but none of them are really the same. <laughs> Wonderful. Walk washer. Get my caliper. Measure stuff. Okay, so these are the washers we took out of the back brake and the two extra thin ones that we didn't use. So let's see what we got in here to work with. Okay, so they had about 60 on the one, about 140 on the other. It might have been a little bit different than that. Let's see, that one's 70. 70. So I'm going to use the two rear ones that were 70. Put this all back together and let's see where we're at. Close to where we want it to be. Seventy. Yep. 
Okay, this one's a little harder to get in, but not too bad. Yeah, that's rough. It's pretty good. Problem is those pads are still dragging, but it's not because the caliper's not centered. So now you look at the gap. The center line on top of the caliper is right in the center with the rotor. And you got a big gap here, and you got a big gap there. It's just the brake pads in the way right now a little bit. But it's spinning freer than it was, but it's just I need to knock that in a little bit more. So let's go ahead and try a little bit of friendly persuasion with a hammer. To try to move those pucks in a little bit. Man. Nice and free now. All right. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to keep those in there. and take this apart. Put Loctite on these. And we should be good to go. Of course, we're going to probably lose that washer. Yeah, that one right there. Well, it's a lot shorter than the other one, it feels like. And that bolt sticks way through. The other one is way short. Hmm. This bolt's too short, this one's too long. This didn't have hardly any threads on it. distance is in there. This quarter is too short, this bowl. So I'm going to find me a longer one. Uh, take up the slack. Nothing quick. All right, I'll be back.